men are fearless. They're basically immune to danger. The Virgin Islands Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault Council presented a documentary by director Vanessa McNeil exploring taboos, stereotypes, and the impact of sexual violence on men. So The Voiceless is a documentary about five men who are survivors of sexual violence. So they talk about masculinity, culture, uh, race, how intersectionality plays a role in why they aren't able to come forward and share their stories. According to the National Sexual Violence Resource Center, one in five women and one in 71 men will be raped at some point in their lives. Since women are more highly impacted by sexual assault, Male victims may face some additional challenges talking about their experiences because of social attitudes and stereotypes about men and masculinity. How many men do we know in our community, in our network, in our circle that have survived this but aren't telling us? It was, it was, it was the most uncomfortable thing I've ever felt at seven years old. The five men shared their stories as survivors of sexual assault by perpetrators that not only included men, but females as well. Uh, lost a virginity at 15 to 35 year old woman, right? And it's, yeah. you know, it's the same, it's the same dynamic of power and control. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah, so it doesn't stop after six. RAIN, the largest nonprofit anti-sexual assault organization in the United States, explained that many men who experience an erection or ejaculation during an assault may be confused and wonder why the erection occurred. So arousal. So uh, arousal comes from our autonomic part of our brain, which is largely um, subconscious. So like the place in our brain where, like, that makes our heart beat or us breathe, we don't have like, we're not thinking about that in our brain, but it's still happening. And that's the same way with sexual arousal. So you have to te we have to teach our kids, like if someone's touching certain parts of your body, maybe it be your chest, maybe it be your genitals or your ears or your neck. Even if you don't want that to happen, you still might get erect. It got to the point why I didn't touch nobody in my home. It got to the point where I was always angry. Similar to the sentiments of one of the survivors featured in the film, Tariq McMillan, a Virgin Islands counselor, attests that aggressive behavior can be an adverse effect of trauma. Well, you, I haven't seen much men say that they feel like they're a victim. Um, they pre present, we present as angry. I keep saying they, but we present as angry most times. Because um, it's a lot easier to present anger in the face of, uh, versus victimhood. So if I have to choose between face, feeling angry versus as a victim, I'm going to go with anger. And however that, however that comes out, that's the way it comes out. If you've experienced sexual assault and would like to speak with someone, Contact the Women's Coalition of St. Croix at 773-9272. For News 2, I'm Stephanie Shalana Brown.